Hi, welcome you all. In this presentation, we will see about the back to back stations in India. The objectives of this presentation are to know what is back to back configuration, why it is called as back to back configuration, and the systematic representation of back to back configuration, and to know about the purposes, construction, operation of Vindhyachal HVDC back to back station and Chandrapur HVDC back to back station. And finally, the advantages of the back to back HVDC station. First, what is back to back configuration? As you can see in this image, AC supply is given as input and AC supply is given as and AC supply is given as output. These both uh, input and outputs are interconnected using DC line. Similarly, the word back to back is used because ends of two AC non synchronized systems are connected using a DC link to form a better organized and interconnected power system network. Back to back connections means power can be fed to left to right or right to left according to demand, which is meant possible with help of adequate switching mechanism. Why it is called as back to back configuration? In power electronics, if two bipolar components are connected in series with opposite polarity, then this pair is known as back to back system. Here also, rectifier and inverter are identical and connected in series operating on high voltage DC. So this is known as HVDC back to back system. This is a systematic representation of back to back configuration. As you can see in this image, this is a thyristor and connected in series but in opposite manner. Hope you know basics about converters and their use in HVDC line. Here at leftmost, we are having three phase AC line. Then rectifier will play its role, which will convert AC into rectified DC. This DC will be transmitted through DC line and at last inverter will again convert DC supply into AC. Back to back connection means power can be fed left to right or right to left according to the demand which imply means that both the converter station may act as rectifier or inverter according to necessity. The first back to back hvdc station vindhyachal hvdc back to back station which is located in madhya pradesh india the 500 megawatt vindhyachal hvdc back to back system was put into operation in 1989 to interconnect the asynchronous 400 kv alternating current networks of the northern and western regions it is considered to be the India's oldest HVDC link. The main purpose of this station is to export power from the Vidyachal Super Thermal Power Station, Western Region, to Singrauli Super Thermal Power Station, Northern Region of the Indian National Power Grid. It is owned by Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. It is the first commercial back to back HVDC station in India. Construction. Construction wise, this station have two blocks, each block carrying a power of 250 megawatts. And the AC voltage rating is 400 kilovolt, DC voltage rating is plus or minus 70 kilovolt. This station have a 8 converter transformer. Each transformer has a rating of 156 megavolt ampere. This project was completed on April 1989. Operation of the station. The converter station consists of two independent poles, each with a nominal power transmission rating of 250 megawatt. The project achieved low diversity of northern and western region in Indian grid by meeting high demand from surplus power available in either region and bidirectional power flow capabilities available in this station.
Siemens Upgrade India Chal Link. Siemens has been selected by Power Grid to refurbish Vindhya Chal HVDC back to back system. The project's scope of work includes the installation of new thyristor valves, converter cooling system, HVDC control and protection system, direct current measuring devices, and surge arresters. By installing these latest HVDC components, Siemens will extend the useful life of the link. This will be Siemens. First HVDC modernization project in India. This upgrade is expected to be completed on this year. Next, the second back to back station, which is Chandrapur back to back HVDC station. It is a back to back HVDC connection between the western and southern regions in India, located close to the city of Chandrapur. It is a second commercial back to back HVDC station. In India, purpose. The main purpose is to export power from the Chandrapur Super Thermal Power Station to the southern region of the Indian National Power Grid. It is owned by Power Grid Corporation of India. Construction. This station also have two blocks, each block carrying 500 megawatts. AC voltage rating is 400 kV and DC voltage rating is 205 kV. This station have 12 converter transformer. Each transformer have rating of 234 MV ampere. This project was started on November 1993 and successfully completed on December 1997. Operation. The converter station consists of two independent poles, each with the nominal power transmission rating of 500 megawatts. Both poles were built by GEC Alstom between 1993 and 1997 and have nominal DC voltage and current rating of 205 kilovolt, 2475 amps. The converter station is located 20 kilometers from the eastern terminal of Chandrapur Bak HVDC transmission system. The length is approximately 12 miles. Now we see the advantages of back to back stations. The main advantage is power can be upgraded to desired frequency. Two asynchronous system can be joined successfully without loss of stability. More active power can be added where the AC system already is at the limit of its short circuit capability. Stabilized weak AC links. Stability of the system is increased as well as power flow can be maintained within the optimal limits. These are all the advantages of back to back HVDC stations. Conclusion With this presentation, we conclude some of the points. The points are as follows A back to back connection for electric power transmission is a high voltage direct current system with both ends in the same switchyard. This is used to couple asynchronously operated power grids or for connecting power grids of different frequencies where no DC transmission line is necessary. HVDC link is much more beneficent than the frequency converter as frequency matching of two or more asynchronous system is very much difficult than conversion and inversion. This presentation we see two back to back HVDC station earlier. Now, one more HVDC back to back station is there in India, which is the Vizag back to back HVDC station. It is a, it is a back to back HVDC connection between the eastern and southern regions in India, located close to the city of Visakhapatnam and owned by Power Grid Corporation of India. It consists of two independent poles, each with a nominal power transmission rating of 500 megawatt referred to as Vizag 1, Vizag 2. Vizag 1 was built by Alstom between 1996 and 1999 and has nominal DC voltage and current rating of 
205 kilo volt 2475 amps it is its design is very similar to that of chandrapur back to back hvdc converter station thank you